So there's tons of videos out there that show you how to use Apple reminders, notes, calendar to be your most productive person, but they don't really show you real world examples. It's always some sort of, this is how I manage my YouTube channel or my content creation schedule. And for me, that's not a huge part of my life. But these tools do still exist and they're great tools. They're simple, they're free, or at least included with your phone. And I wanna provide a couple examples of how you can use those to more efficiently get through your day. So one example is I got an email that had 15 cents off per gallon at a gas station. And I wanted to remember to go to that gas station whenever I got into my car the next time. And then once I got to the gas station, I wanted to save the receipt because I use those for business write-offs. You can do this all with Apple apps. Here's how you do it. The first thing you wanna do is press and hold on the email you want, then swipe to close the mail app, then open the reminders app, and then drop it. Then I like to set a location-based reminder of get in car. The next time your Bluetooth connects to your car, you'll get the reminder. Then once I have my receipt, I just go to my notes app and open my fuel notes that I have pinned to the top. Hit the little paper clip and then select scan, scan my receipt, and then I'm on my way. Another real world example is just checking my phone as soon as I wake up in the morning, looking at my calendar and my flag task and the weather and making sure that I'm prepared for the day. Now I know a lot of productivity experts are gonna shun me for saying check your phone first thing in the morning, uh, but as long as you stick to those things and as long as you don't get sucked into the doom scroll trap, it's a really effective way to just at a glance get a plan for your day. Another real world example is the shared note. My wife and I were planning a family vacation and we used a shared note to mark out restaurants we wanted to go to, beaches we wanted to visit, local grocery stores, things like that. All that stuff was in a shared note that her and I could just go through and just at a glance um, once we're down at our vacation area and just be able to see, okay, this was the plan, this is what we're doing, and actually kind of have like an itinerary laid out and it saved all the nagging questions from everybody else who was on the trip with our, with our kids saying, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? We kind of had an outline of the day and we were able to go without too much stress of having your whole family on a vacation. So first you'll want to have your note created and then you'll click the share button and then select the collaborate out of the drop down. Pick your person that you're going to message and then hit send and then they'll open the note and accept that invitation to be able to use it. Another great example of how to use Apple Notes as an effective tool is my youngest daughter does not have her own phone, but she does always use my phone. And there are some things that I would like for her to not um, accidentally delete or whatever in my notes app. She loves getting on the notes app and drawing things and I don't want to run the risk of deleting some important information in my notes app. So what I like to do is to lock those down and I actually use a separate password than what I use for my phone just because she already knows my phone password. So having that second level of security is a lifesaver for not deleting important notes. To set up the password protection, open settings, then select notes. Then click password, use custom password, and then type in whatever your password needs to be, and you should be good to go. Another great tip is using OCR in notes. I've tried using other apps. Uh, Evernote was great, but it became ridiculously expensive. I tried to use a OneNote, which is also supposed to be good with OCR, but for whatever reason, it does not work for me, especially for handwritten text. And using Apple Notes is seamless. I, I can search for things. It's able to pull up what my, my ugly handwriting is. I also use it for saving it in receipts. 
and it actually came in handy very recently on a purchase that I had to do a warranty claim for. So I had a pressure washer that was not working. I was able to use my scanned in receipt to find it and just be able to give that to the manufacturer and they provided me with a replacement pressure washer and it just made things super simple. And my final tip is probably a no-brainer at this point, but using a shared calendar. My wife and my two oldest kids, we all share a family calendar and it's not that we necessarily need to know what everybody is doing all the time, but we all use that kind of so we make sure that we don't schedule things that are going to conflict with each other. My son and I run a business together. My wife has her own schedule for work. I have my own schedule for my, my, my work. And my daughter's in college getting her graduate's degree. So we're all very busy people and we just like to have a general idea of like, hey, don't schedule something on this day. Or just like, hey, if you can't get a hold of us on this day, check the calendar. You might be able to see where we're at that time. So. Uh, hands down, one of the greatest inventions ever was the shared electronic calendar. I've tried to go paper and I usually get about a month in before it fails. So I have like a lot of paper calendars that are about a month or two in and then the rest of them are just blank. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good way to do it because I love the tactile feeling of a of calendar, but I never have it with me whenever I, I need it. and. Um, I just, the schedule changes so much that it's just impractical for me to be able to keep up with it. So if you guys have a great tip on that, just let me know. You ever have this situation where your wife asks you to take out the hamburger when you get home and if you're like me, you're probably not going to remember that. So what I like to do is set a location based reminder for whenever I arrive at home yeah, I get the pop-up that says, hey, take out the hamburger, and then I'll go get it. It pops up, take it out, and it saves me from being in the doghouse for a week. So there you have it. Just a few examples of how I use Apple Notes, reminders, calendar, email, all together to be my most productive self. If you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.